Oh, how are you feeling? You took a hard fall. You yeah. went down pretty hard. And oh, no, nah, man, I'm good. It's just kind of came down one way. Well, nothing that I ain't mentioned before, so it's all <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, I guess all good things have to come to an end at some time. Though, but yeah. <laughs> how about that streak? I mean, it's uh, amazing. Oh, huh? uh, yeah. I mean, just, you know, something that I pat myself on the back with that I stayed so consistent with it for so long, you know. Um, and it, <laughs> like you said, good things do come to an end, but I got a taste of it, so now I'm a bit greedy. I want it again, so I'm for sure going to try to get it in these last few games that we got down this stretch most definitely. But at the end of the day, you know, I just come out and I just have fun with the game. A little bit temp of the game, but it's all good. You know, I charge that to the game because I know it's going to come back to me tenfold at the end of the day. So I just have to stay patient. But, I mean, just to know that, I mean, you're, you're mentioned in the same sentence as a Wilt Chamberlain. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a big man, that's got to be a, a huge Oh, part. I mean, you know, I'm smiling ear to ear on the inside just because of the simple fact it's just like, you know, I had a chance to do it, you know. And it's not just like my only chance. I know for a fact, I don't know how many games we got left in this season, but I'm for sure going to try to do that before the regular season is over with, no doubt. Is it something you found yourself thinking about today or during warm-ups or? The last two games I found myself thinking about a lot, <laughs> for sure. Um, I, I can't remember. I think Shay jinxed me before the game. He was like, oh, you going to come in and break the record on us? Then I missed the first layup. I was like, oh, he got me. It's okay. It's okay. But, you know, like I said, just being patient with the game, you know, you give a lot of love and respect to the game. It, it rewards you in the right way. So I just stay patient with that, and I kind of keep that in the back of my mind. I just come out and I just play basketball every day. I enjoy what I do on a night-to-night -night basis, you know, whether I'm in a bad situation or a good situation. I just come out and I try to have fun with it. What did you make of just your, your own, the team's demeanor tonight just in a, in a really physical game against a really good team and obviously playing without your best player and just the way that you guys fought? I mean, I feel like the fight was there just 100% uh, of the game, full 48 minutes. There was a lot of things that I, I would say we were probably frustrated about, which is like a lot of calls that weren't called. Um, you know, down the stretch, you know, it was a lot of, I would say some of those calls kind of like, you know, impacted the game in a crazy way for us. But at the end of the day, we fought to the end, you know, and that's what makes a good team is if you fight from beginning to end, no matter what happens throughout the stretch of the game. Do you do you how what do you how do you, what do you think about that the, the Oklahoma team that I mean I think a, a lot of people still don't trust it but they they've shown they're, I mean, they're going to be a tough out man I, I give props to them. You know, just because of the simple fact that from the years that I've played against them and just seeing just some of the things that they've been through, of course, just seeing how they're holding themselves this year. You know, you, you can't do anything but tip your hat to them because they come out and they're consistent every night. They play the same way. They play with physicality. They play with speed. And they got multiple guys that can get to their spot and get the shots that they want at the end of the day. And they also have an MVP caliber player on their team as well. So it's just you put those things in a combination, it's kind of tough to go against on a night-to-night -night basis, you know. Appreciate it. First of all, uh, do you know how Josh is? Um, I think it's a right ankle sprain. Um, we'll see how he feels uh, tomorrow, but definitely uh, hurt it, so he couldn't come back. So, um, but I think the X-rays were negative, so that's a good thing. Uh, I hate to start with this, but I don't think I've seen a game this season where you guys were so. At odds with the officiating. Um, is there anything generally you could say about? <laughs> no, I think the, the officials did. It. Yeah, they, they did their job tonight. Um, you give Oklahoma City credit; they were the better team. Um, we we turned the ball over. You know, we had 19 turnovers for 30 something points. Um, you're not going to beat one of the best teams in the in the West by turning the ball over, and we, we have to be better. And when we didn't turn it over, we got in the paint, we scored. Um, we also got to the free throw line. So um, nothing about the officiating. I think just the conversations uh, with the officials, that, that that's just part of the game. Um, but I, I thought, again, on the road, on the back-to-back, -back, uh, without Luca, I thought the guys did a great job. The energy and effort was there. Um, being able to take care of the ball, that, which Oklahoma City is very good on the defensive end of, of coming up with steals. And then us, also, we just didn't rebound the ball well. We got the misses. Uh, we just didn't finish the plays tonight. 
you, how happy were you were with guys that like Gafford and like uh, Hardway and, and those guys that picked up a lot of this, this slack? Yeah, I thought with some of the injuries and uh, people having to leave the game because of, of the injury, I thought Hardy was great. Um, being, and as we've talked about this, you're going to get an opportunity. I thought uh, he did a great job tonight. Gaff was great. Uh, looking at, you know, small ball. Um, a lot of times we st we stayed with Gaff and D Live, um, and then we went with the small group with PJ and uh, Maxi. Um, but I thought Timmy was great, uh, knocking down shots and competing. Um, I, again, our leader Kai, uh, he led us uh, tonight without Luca being out there. I thought he set the tone and he was really good tonight. Yeah, quick turnaround. Seeing both teams really got to each other, competing really hard. Yeah, I think it, that's the, that's what you know the NBA is all about. The best teams are going to compete at this time of the year. Both teams are fighting for something. Um, and so uh, I thought it was a competitive game. Um, there's going to be some missed calls. That's just part of the, the, the NBA. Um, but you got to play through it. Um, again, um, we just had costly turnovers. If we would have got shots, make or miss, uh, we, we could put ourselves in a better seat. But give them credit. They were good tonight with Oklahoma City. Before the game, you were talking about how physicality is picking up around the NBA, kind of carrying toward the playoffs. Did tonight, maybe 19 turnovers is not like what you want to do in a playoff game, but uh, did it feel like almost playoff intensity? Yeah, I, I thought we handled the atmosphere. This is a great atmosphere uh, to play in when you come on the road. Um, I thought we handled that well. Just the live ball turnovers and, and then understand we can be better with the ball. Um, but again, when we were good with the ball, we got to the paint. I thought, again, Hardy was aggressive, being able to find guys. Timmy was being able to knock down shots. Um, again, playing without Luca, we gave ourselves a chance. So everyone in that locker room, um, you know, should be proud of themselves. We just came up short. And, you know, Gafford's streak came to an end, uh, <laughs> at the end somehow, or at some point, but uh, to be that close to a a record by Will Chamberlain is pretty amazing. Yeah, it really is. What he's done and what he's brought to this team, um, just not on the offensive end about the streak, but the streak is very impressive when you're talking about the, the likes of Will Chamberlain. Um, not too many people are in that air. And so uh, for Gaff to be there, uh, to be mentioned with Will is pretty special. But also on the defensive end, he's a big part of that, being able to protect the rim um, and then also being able to rebound the ball. And so it, it's, it's really cool. Unfortunately, the streak did come to an end. Is the goal uh, with the closing lineup with PJ Washington and Maxi Kleba to space out offensively and be able to switch on defense? Is that the yeah, main you, yeah, being able to uh, switch uh, and, and try to stay out of the rotations. I thought in the second um, where they made the three or four threes, it puts our bigs in the in the rotation, and we just were late. And so, looking at PJ um, and Maxi being able to switch and being able to guard the ball, um, they have two of the best. Uh, when you talk about off the ball or being able to play off the dribble, uh, Williams and, and Shea. And so um, that that's what we looked at. They got we, they made some shots still, but they also had some misses. And then on the offensive end, just to give our guys space, I thought Kai took advantage of that. Uh, Coach, it seemed as, uh, there was a period late in the game where some words were exchanged between Kyrie and some fans. Do you have any insight on what was said? Was anything up Oh, sorry. Offensive or was it just friendly banter? Or? I, that I don't know. You would have to ask Kai what was said, um, and you'd have to ask the fan. Uh, um, I don't know what was said. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.